Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm out on a lake, and it looks absolutely gorgeous out. I am the only one at the boat landing, and it's only 6.45 in the morning. So, kudos to myself for getting up early. This is like, oh, this is like once in a blue moon thing, me getting up early and being the first one at the boat ramp. So, don't get used to this, guys. I have the old, old town ready to go. Look how nice and succulent and rigged up she's looking like that thing just looks sexy but today we are going to be doing some fishing guys i need to scratch an itch there's two things that i really want to do number one whoa holy crap something just happened right here i don't know what just happened but i think oh 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 something's getting chased right here a bass must be chasing some bluegills well what i was trying to tell you guys is i want to scratch two itches today number one i want to catch some top water fish it doesn't matter what kind of fish it is i want it to be on the top water frog and number two, I wanna catch some bluegills and perhaps bring some home to eat. I'm really feeling some bluegills. It just screams bluegill golden crispy time. And I haven't done that yet. So I wanna catch some bluegills. Oh my God, look at this largey. Oh, 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 this large, dude, this, no joke. Wait, wait, where's the largey? The largey is actually chasing bass right now. I said that wrong. The largey, I just saw the largey chasing um, these bluegills. Oh, there's a largey right there, right there. Look at that largey. Look at him prowling. Oh my gosh, I have the Mond optics over the lens right now. Dude, look at that guy. What the heck is going on? Okay, these largies are in feeding frenzy mode, so I need to get out there, but I wanna catch some bluegills later today to do some fishing with my mind optics okay if you want to grab these guys for 10 percent off use the link down below use my code mindac at checkout you can save 10 percent off on these they're really good polarized glasses and right now is like the best time to use them because it's spawn season baby it is spawn season you can see a bunch of fish with these as you guys saw right there you could see that one bass just trolling all of these little uh bait fish and bluegills but we're gonna get the kayak set up and i'm gonna start fishing you guys stay tuned I'm really excited. All right, trying to get in my kayak without dying. All right, it's lit. I'm in. Pull this down. There we go. All right, we are rolling out and we're gonna start doing some frog fishing and then look for some bluegills later. Today, I am using the Guggen Squad Go To Gold Series Rod. Now, I believe this is a, it's a medium heavy fast. So this isn't normally what I'd throw. I'd normally throw, honestly, like an extra heavy or something of that sort, just to pull those fish out if you're in lily pads or something like that. But that's what I got to work with today. I'm using like 50 or 60 pound braid and the bait I have in choice today is you guys know me the old Guggen squad eat me filthy frog we're just gonna toss that bad boy out there and see if I still remember how to catch a gosh darn topwater frog fish I haven't caught a topwater fish in a long time on a frog so let's see if this goes well boys and girls Okay, that one like submerged on it. There's no topwater explosion. It just like, my frog was like submerged. Come in here, little guy. Well, first frog fish of the year. I was asking to catch some topwater fish. First one of the day, that's like sub, that's like a sub water fish catch right there. My frog was like underneath the water there and it just slurped it underneath there. I just felt some weight and I was like, okay, that's probably fish. But that is the first fish of the day, I'll take it. I was like, there's no way. Oh, see you later guy. I did not have him hooked very well, but I knew there was no way I was gonna not get bit right there. I mean, that was just too prime. Submerged tree. 
All right, so we are rolling up to the bluegill spot. I'm going to probably stop right here, hit spot lock, and I'm just gonna throw my slip bobber rig inside of the mess of bluegills. Now I'm using wax worms on a little jig. I don't know if that's gonna work. I did bring worms as well and plastics. I'm gonna see if the wax worms is gonna be the ticket. I feel like these bluegills have been pressure a lot, so eh, it's kind of hard to say if they're gonna bite or not, but I saw some big ones here the other day and I think there is potential for some 10 inches. I think I might have one, yep. There we go. First bluegill of the day, boys. Ooh, he wanted the wax worm. It's fighting good too. Nothing like some kayak bluegills, I'll tell you what. I might have to keep some. Ooh, ooh, that looks like a nice one. Look at this, boys. Ooh, doggy. I haven't caught myself a bluegill in quite some time. That felt pretty good. Oh my gosh, it's been a struggle today. Wanted to come out here and catch some fish on the frog. It didn't work and decided to come and catch some bluegills to make my life a little bit better. And yes, that's a good one. I'm gonna get the stringer out and we're gonna bring a couple of these home to fry up because these are my one of my favorite fish to fry up. Ooh, I can see a bluegill coming to my bait. I'm watching it happen. Eat it, buddy. Oh. Come on. There we go. Ooh, ooh, that looks like a good one. Whoo, old son, get your butt over here. Look how hard these things are fighting. I mean, look at this. What a gorgeous fish. Come on. Oh yeah, top of the lip. I got you, buddy. Look at that beauty. Number two of the day. Oh yeah, just on the wax worm. That's getting the job done, super simple. All right, time to get back in there. Where are them blue gills at? Oh, eat my wax worm, oh. I got one, I'm getting bit like a mother trucker and I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there's one. My motor just disconnected and I had a fish. And this guy is fighting so hard. Come here, come here. Gosh, these are fun to catch on ultralight rods, folks. This is the time of the year to do it too because they're pushing up shallow spawn and it's a really fun time and a good time to get a harvest in. Oh yeah, look at that fish. Oh yeah. Oh my. Look at that absolute bruiser of a fish. That thing is sexy. I'm gonna probably let this one go just because it's such a good looking fish and I want those eggs to spawn out, big girl. My God, this thing is fat. So check out that absolute chungus of a bluegill. I mean, this thing is huge, folks. It's about to spawn and I'm gonna respect the resource because we need big girls like this to go back. I'm okay keeping smaller ones, but a big one like that that has eggs, gotta let it go. There we go. There's another Juan. Dude, this is, okay, yeah, this one's gonna be an eater. I just released that big mama because it had, it was too big and it had some eggs in it. This one is for show sure an eater though. Oh yes, Poppy. You look like some golden crispies. Mm-hmm. That looks delicious. That looks like a golden crispy right there on a silver platter. Get him back in there. I it's, honestly, I don't know why they're so stacked right here. It's ridiculous. There we go. Golly. Come here, old son. Another one. This definitely looks like another eater. And I mean, if you guys look at that, look how hard this thing is fighting. For the size it is, it's just absolutely getting after it. Got to respect these bluegills. Mmm. Mm, 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 you look like dinner. Another one. Oh, 
Oh, that was instant. Is it better? Decent? Eater, question mark? Rar XD? Stop it, stop it. Just come on in, come on in. Goodness, you were hungry. Oh my God. He absolutely gulped that thing. Like, look at that. That thing is gone forever, bro. Oh my. Oh, there's another eater to add to my collection. It's going, for, it's going good so far. I mean, I'm having a fun time. Um, I mean, those bass were just being pills. I could not catch this bass to save my life. But luckily, bluegills have been a little bit easier for old Johnny boy to get here. Oh my gosh, that one crushed it. Holy criminy, dude. <laughs> it's like all the bites I've been getting, like my bobber, like it maybe moves a little bit, like to the side or something like that. But this one, the bobber just disappeared. It was vadunk. So there we go. Another eater. Gosh, dang, man. These, these fish, I'll say it time and time again, they're fun to catch and they are super, super good eating. I for sure want to make like a fish sandwich with these. I think I'm going to have like the perfect amount to make that. But what do I got on the stringer now? Let's see here. What's the lucky number? I don't have that many on there. Honestly, I only have like five. Yeah, five right now. So not bad, not bad. Could be doing better. All right, guys, I don't know if you're getting bored of the you know, just me catching one fish after another fish because I'm getting kind of bored of it. I feel like you guys at home are getting kind of bored of it, too. So I decided I have this gooseneck. I have one more full battery of my GoPro. Why not spend the last like 20, 30 minutes or whatever trying to get some underwater footage? So I went and found this nice tree right here and I'm going to go stick it in the ground where all these bluegills are. I can see them right now and I'm going to put this gooseneck on that tree and see if i can get to stay there i have no clue if this is going to work if it does work though this is going to be pretty cool so stay tuned underwater footy hopefully coming in hot Well, I don't know if you guys can see anything, but I just looked at the footage. I got like a couple hook sets on film, which this is my first time ever really using the GoPro for underwater shots. Don't even know if you guys can hear me, but yeah, I don't know. That was kind of cool. I do have all of my fish though. Right there. That's what your boy ended up with. It looks pretty, pretty juicy. So we're going to pack these bad boys up and then we're going to meet back at the house and do a little bit of cleaning. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up, my guy? Hi, Paisley. Are you hungry for some bluegills? 
Do you want some bluegills? Huh? Do you want some bluegills? Okay. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, it is the next day. And yeah, I didn't, I got home, I had to do a bunch of stuff. It was Memorial Day, so I didn't have any time to really film the cleaning process, but I just cleaned them like I clean my crappies and all my other bluegills. Super easy, you guys have seen that on the channel before. But I have all of the fish in this bowl over here ready to go. Ooh, doggy, look at that, that is a bowl of Golden Krispies, if I've ever seen a bowl of Golden Krispies. Those look phenomenal. Now, I don't really feel like eating like something fried or I just kind of had some breakfast too, so I'm not like super hungry, but Lindsay and I want to show you guys a quick and easy recipe for like, uh, you can serve it as like an appetizer or even like a full course meal, you can do this. So sit back, relax, and let's show you guys this new recipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna take like two of these sons of guns and lay them on there so we can just have a little taste test. Okay, because I'm not so hungry. We're gonna dry these off with a paper towel and uh, just dab them until they're somewhat dry. Oh, hey, Lindsay. How's it going? So I have the bluegills on a plate now. What do we do next? We're gonna take some butter. You can use as much as you want. We don't have a lot of fish, but that's probably a lot of butter, guys. Yeah, the butter to fish okay. ratio. Yeah. Old Bay. Old Bay. Guys. <laughs> it smells so good. That's some good ambient sound in the background, Paisley. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, shout out to her for the slurp sounds in the background. Now we take our little fish appetizers and Wait, what? Microwave. Microwave. It's going in. We're gonna start with a minute right now and then we'll check and see how it's looking. All right, it's been a minute. Hey. <laughs> that low key they looks look good. good though. You trying it? Oh. Oh, sorry, I have the hiccups, but yeah, I'll try it. Okay. All right, guys, this is our microwaved bluegills. No clue if this is going to be good. Well, JK, I know this is going to be good. It's butter and old and old bay, so it's definitely going to be it gas. In butter. Get it all in oh. there. It's like lobster. Oh, this is like lobster. <laughs> we just got this off the lobster boat. I knew that was going to be super hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so good, though. I would prefer this over pan fried or oven baked. Not even lying. Well, it's so it is moist. It's so easy. Like literally you just throw it in the microwave. So if we're lazy, we don't feel like battering and frying it. Like it's, it's so, so good. Easy. Mm, definitely. If you haven't tried it before, definitely gotta try it. Oh my goodness, guys. I just got done eating the fish. It was just a little appetizer, like I said, and it was phenomenal. I'm sorry if I hiccup during the salad trail because for some reason, I have the gosh darn hiccups. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, this is kind of my first time ever dabbling with the underwater footage. Drop a comment down, drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of it. Also, let me know if, you, if I should do it again and how I could maybe improve my footage or improve anything else that you guys think needed to be improved in this video. I had a fun time kayak fishing for some big old bluegills and it, it panned out pretty nice for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We will catch you on the next one. Say goodbye everyone, Paisley.